Welcome back to the finale of Creepy Old Man. I still hear a freaking, like, shark jaws thing of a jigger. Fujiko, you're starting to scare me. All this witchy stuff gives me a terrible vibe. There's nothing to worry about. I can handle this. We're, we're freaking reading the... The necro... Whatever from Evil Dead. Fujiko, this is insane. I seriously think we should have found a way out of here and just leave. No way. Look, my grandfather is really big in the paranormal. He performed exorcisms countless times. He's even been on TV before. Needless to say, I always thought the old guy was crazy, but now all this... Now that all this has occurred, I think I should have seen if I've inherited any of the old fart's talent. Wow, calling your grand... Your old man a fart. This is not good. You don't know what you're dealing with. We wasted too much time already. The ritual begins. Fujiko, don't... Yamadayo, great king and judge of Naraka. By authority of the great Buddha, I summon you to claim the soul of the janitor, Sudamu Takuma. His evil deeds have gone unpunished for too long. Rise up, great king Yama. Take us all back with you to hell. He actually summoned the old man instead. What'd you go? What'd you do, you idiot? Hey, hold on a minute. I think this might actually be working. No, it's not working. All you did was piss it off. Uh oh. Run, we have to get out of here! Holy crap, what is that? A tentacle? Forget this! Schoolgirls and tentacles do not mix. I'm out of here. I don't want to be tentacled. Okay, how about I not be tentacled? Okay, time to run. Time to run. Oh, that thing is pissed! Okay, how about not? I know for a fact, like, tentacles all over the place. That stupid doll. Dude, that doll really wants me, like, really bad. Holy crap, okay. How many times is that damn doll gonna appear? Oh, there's a doll right here. I wonder if the doll's in there. Also, why does this look like uh, Final Fantasy 13 Hallway Edition? Is that a phone in the background? What the hell? Or is that the new school? Okay, that's really weird. An ominous. Wow, the basement. My favorite place. Oh, God. Well. Okay, I could go in there. Or I could just uh, continue on. What is this? Bioshock? Big Daddy's over here. Here, and try to get you out. Are devils real? I don't know. Let me open this box. Here. Push this box. No. Sir, you're going to push towards the tentacle. Get pushed. Sounds like a dog. Jesus. Okay, let me up. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, sorry that this is like th literally three different parts, but I don't want to make it like an hour-long thing, and it's really hard to digest. Uh, I'd rather just cut it up, and that way people can watch it at their leisure. Can I even get up there? Why do people make these... I I'm sure someone in like the comments is being like, I can just make that jump in like my first try. It'd be like, yeah... Well, I, I tried doing it in a dress and see how it goes. Are devils new? Are devils are real? Sukasa, where are you going? Oh, uh, you little bastard. Misaki, where have you been? I thought you were dead. Oh, I'm fine. We, we should uh, probably be leaving. There are demons about. Tell me something I don't know. Like, how are you still alive? It's part of an illusion created by the demon uh, Lord Amano Jaku. Demons are quite deceitful. They take great joy in warping the mortal perception of reality. So how do I know you're not... Uh, how do I know you're real? Mono Jaku, isn't that the talking cat in that one anime? Do not mock the demon. The legend of the melon princess Riku Hime tells how a Mono Jaku tricks and kidnaps an innocent girl. After killing and eating her, he impersonates her by wearing her flayed skin. He is a perverted demon who corrupts human months. Misaki, why are you telling me this? I discovered that Takuma was no ordinary man, that he was possessed by the spirit of a Mono Jaku, which holds power over this school. Now controls a new vessel, and she has been ma manipulating you. <coughs> so Kasa, don't listen to her. That girl, no, that disgusting manipulative thing is not Misaki. Fujiko, what are you saying? I mean, what I say, I heard everything about this imposter has been saying. If there is a demon here, it's a her. So tell me, Sukasu, uh, who had you risk your life and limb running all over the school? And who was the one who summoned a uh, Lovecrafty and Tentacle Monster to violate you? And how would you even know about that anyways? Only me and Sukasa were in the room at that time. See, she admits she was trying to kill you. It's gonna be happy. This isn't real. I'm gonna wake up from this horrible nightmare any minute now. So tell me, Masaki, since when does a staunch realist 
And a self-proclaimed atheist like yourself believe in demons. You told me if you ever saw a ghost, you wouldn't believe it until an intense scientific investigation was carried out. You wouldn't even go to the shrine with me on New Year's. You said it was hogwash. You, what am I saying? Misaki said that. And you aren't the real Misaki. Why would any of this matter to Sakasa? She just met me today. You can make up any story to confuse her, and you did. I'm not an atheist in my spare time. I work at the local shrine. Misaki the shrine man. Isn't that just a pretty picture? Listen, Sakasa. I know I don't have any way to prove that she is a Misaki, but I know the real Misaki my whole life, and that's not her. Listen to her voice. I know you didn't talk to her long, but it's different. The way she's staring at you, her posture, her mannerisms, it's all natural and wrong. Sukasa, we have given this girl far too much of our time already. That's it downstairs, we should leave. Let me guess, I get to choose who I want to go with. There it is, we were just downstairs and there's no way out. We have to take the fire escape from the roof. If you go with her, you'll walk straight off the roof to your death. Now turn this way, that's right, come over here to me. She doesn't know anything about you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I know which one of you uh, the real and which one is the phony. Yeah, you're dead. Goodbye. I don't care if she is a demon. Yeah, you shake your hips at it. I'd rather go with the angry person. At least I know she's angry. There we go. Well, it took you long enough. Let's blow this joint. Wait, wait. Where do you think you're going? Get back here. You can't leave after I peel the skin from your pretty little hide. Slowly painful. I knew it. I knew it. Damn, the stairs are a wreck. We aren't getting down this way. Look, there's a dumpster. We might be able to land it if we jump. No way. I'm not jumping off this thing. Come on, Fujiko. This is our last chance. Uh, I, I can't. There's no time to hesitate. Jump! I'll take the garbage. Fujiko, you have to. Fujiko, look out! What a fine new body. I would have preferred a cute innocent like virgin like Tsukasa to be my new vessel. However, under the circumstances, a loud mouth talk like you can serve me just fine. Fujiko, no! After that, I ran to the place. When I relayed the events which transpired at school, they just laughed. And I persist and they threaten to arrest me. Now there's nothing left for me to do but to go home and try to forget this nightmare. The cold rain washes over me. The world is distorted and gray, blurring objects familiar through a veil of rain and tears. This really is a nightmare, and a truly horrific one. This is the kind of nightmare one never wakes from. Can I go back? There's no one else to go about home. Frankly, I can't wait to get out of this rain. I guess I'm gonna die. I'm gonna wake up with the both of where could she be at this hour? Mom, don't worry, I'm sure Sakasa is fine. She probably should hang out with friends. She's usually more considerate. She would have tried to call it. Maybe I should call the police. She's probably, look, here she is now. Sakasa, thank God. Hey, Brett, what, uh, what do you mean coming home at this hour without calling this? Mom has been worried sick about you. You're supposed to be the responsible one. I'm sorry. Where were you? Sakasa, I was ready to call the police. Police are no help. It was just at the police station. They thought I was crazy. What do you mean? Honey, what, why did you go to the police? What has been going on? I wouldn't believe it either. I hardly believe it myself. It's so awful. They're dead, Mom. Dead? Who's dead, Sukasa? What's happening? It's my friends, Mom. Fujiko and Misaki. We're in this old school building. The old school building? What are you doing there? I thought I told you when you started to school here to never go near the old school. I lost someone very important to me there. I know I'm sorry, but I never would have believed ghosts. The old man, the janitor's ghost. For God's sakes, what are you babbling about? I knew you wouldn't believe. No, dear, I do believe. You, you do? You remember when you were younger, you had an imaginary friend named Kiyomi? Yes, I do, but I don't see why that matters. Your father and I were very disturbed when you started talking to Kiyomi. We took you to see a psychologist. The reason we were so frightened was because a few years before we moved into the apartment where we lived at the time, a little handicapped girl named Kiyomi lived there. She was hit by a car and died. You described your friend wearing a paper bag on her head. The little girl, Kiyomi, was born with a hideous birth defect with her abusive mother hid beneath a paper bag. We moved away from this, this town, and we never intended to come back, but when Grandma became ill, we had no choice but to return. I remember Kiyomi. She was there at the school. She locked the door. She was trying to protect me. You see, Tsukasa, this is why I believed you. You've always been gifted with clairvoyance. Ever since you were a little girl, you were able to sense things. We tried to suppress your psychic ability to protect you, but it seems there was nothing really I could do. Something like this was bound to happen. I knew we should have never came back to this town. Mom, I should have listened to you. I always thought you were a bit overprotective, but now I see why. I want to tell you everything that went on tonight, but I'm exhausted. I understand, dear. I'm just happy you're home and safe. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. Get some rest and we'll talk in the morning. She got off the hook just like that? Just telling a ghost story? God's cautious. She always goes easy on you. Well, you're the first to die next. Yeah, you. I hope Kiyomi and uh, Fujiko... Um, not Kiyomi. Um, Masaki and Fujiko come... And they do this. Slap you across the face. Can I go in the kitchen? I'm hungry. 
Someone's read the note stuck into the fridge. My dearest, I cannot stop thinking of you. Your skin, white as snow. Your short black hair. The way you move with grace and beauty. I'm in love with every aspect of your being. Can you blame me for feeling this way? My love, if you're in love with me, I am so madly in love with you. Wait for me at the front door. If you do not, my heart will split into your beloved Esteban von Hofbrun. What the hell is Esteban? Could Nagisa have a boyfriend? Imagine if I started here. There's chocolate milk. What happens when I go to the front door? Here, I'll go to the front door. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll be going black, back out in the rain. Well, I'm sure I'm going to get visited in the middle of the night and basically just slapped... Uh... Two slaps across the titty. What a horrid night. I hope I never live to see another night like this. Scott's about how I acted before. I wanted to apologize. I know it could be hard on you, but I do care and worry about you. That's why I acted like I did. I was mad about how you made us worry and it was wrong. It's okay, Nagisa. I'm not mad at you. I don't blame you for being angry. I'm sorry I made you guys worry. I'm exhausted. I think I'll head to bed now. Okay, good night, Sakasa. I love you, and I'm glad you're safe, little sister. Good night. Love you too, sis. And off the bed I go. Night is a time for love and romance, but also mystery and horror. There's sloshing. In every shadow lurks a handsome demon with impure thoughts that they fall in rustling sailor's skirts home. Oh boy. What is this, corpse party? Told you you should have nuked the skull. You gotta live in my, uh... Okay. I guess you can live in my... My closet. How about you not touch me? How about you not touch me? Don't touch me. I will teach you the lesson of what it means to be a slapper. I will teach you... Well, anyways, that's it. basically it for uh, this horror story and the horror levels that came before it. I thank everyone for watching, and I apologize if uh, a lot of it's going to be the same. But that's just how it's going to roll. So, until next time, everybody, I will see you then. Later.